the voiceovers that you do are really rich. Do you watch the clips as you're doing the voiceovers to so perfectly? <clears throat> yeah, I um, record sort of a scratch track in my trailer that the editors use uh, for the rough cut of the show. And then when I go in for a final ADR session to clean up any you know, sound issues, a plane flies overhead. In addition, I re-record all of the voiceover uh, to picture because otherwise you, you can't sync up a change in thought with a cut point or a change in expression. Or, so yeah, it, it's, a, it's a nice final chance to polish that part of the uh, performance. Do you approve of what your character is necessarily doing? I know my opinions have changed as I watched your show. Uh, I think I, I um, my job is maybe more to identify with what he's doing or, um, uh, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, I think Dexter's got a pretty formidable uh, dark side and he's taken some sort of responsibility for it. Um, he plays a little bit faster and looser with some of the rules of the code now than he used to, which make it interesting, but um, yeah, I sympathize with him. <laughs> I'm interested to know what you personally feel about your character's harsh method of dealing with social injustice. That's it? Um, how do I feel about my character's harsh method of dealing with social injustice? Um, well, I feel, I feel it goes a long way to making the character interesting. If he, you know, just put up pictures of people and put a big X on their face, I don't think, I don't think it would be as, as interesting. But, um... I think, uh, <laughs> I think, I think, I think it's, um, I think it's great. I th <laughs> I'm getting applause from you, so I sense that you think it's great too. So that's good. I just wondered if you liked preferring more of the villain going for the anti-hero more good? <laughs> um, I'm, you know, all of it. I, 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 I love that, you know, Dexter turns things on its head and invites you to root for the person who is usually the ultimate villain in a film, a serial killer. Um, it's also fun to, you know, play a megalomaniacal whack job straight up. It's nice to play uh, good people, normal people to whom crazy things are happening as opposed to people who are uniquely afflicted, you know. Um, but uh, I don't know if I have a preference. I just love to be able to keep mixing it up, you know. The first three seasons of the Dexter kind of ended with a conclusion. Were you completely surprised for the fourth season or were you kind of expecting to go out of the norm? Um, I was, I was, um, I was shocked. I mean, I had some warning, you know. Um, I, I knew things were headed in that direction. Uh, I was glad that we were able to keep it quiet enough that it managed to shock people who were watching it. You know, I thought that was uh, remarkable in a way uh, that we were able to keep that quiet. But um, as an actor, I was excited. I, I was really sad um, to see Julie go as a, you know, person who I worked with for four years. Not that she didn't go on to other things. I think she's here uh, promoting a new show at Comic-Con, which is pretty cool, but uh, Julie Benz. Um, <laughs> but, but, but for the character, I was really excited because there was almost like a new origin story, uh, one where now Dexter had blood on his hands and uh, the whole structure that he built for himself had been taken away. So, uh, you know, just in the same way you talked about burning down a town, um, Dexter's not, the town isn't burned down, but the, 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 the fundamental sort of thing that he held on to to appear normal and to actually experience himself as normal is, for the most part, gone. So that's big. After the passing of Rita, 
does this mean there will be a new love interest for Dexter? Um, I don't think Dexter is really looking to replace Rita or find a new um, person with whom to have a, an intimate relationship. You know, I think his, uh, I think that door, at least in his conscious mind, is, is closed. But, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hi, this is Michael. Um, with the last um, season of Dexter, How It Ended, how did you find filming that emotionally? Um, it, was, it was tough. It was actually Julie's last day. Um, and uh, the, the, the final scene had been very hush-hush. They'd written a false ending that we read at the read-through, and the only people who were in on what what happened were the were the crew members who were there and the actors, of course. So it was a very um, sort of somber day. We knew it was a difficult thing um, to to ask Julie to you know uh, get in that bathtub full of bloody water um, and and everything. So it was the 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 emotion um, was kind of taken care of. Uh, but I think Dexter, when we see him in that moment, is a, it's a moment that's like that. You know, it's a state of suspended animation, a state of shock, uh, as much as anything, and, and disbelief. And uh, more than anything, I just wanted to get that baby off that blood. You know, just get that baby. <laughs> Pick that baby up. <laughs>